name is Heiko. I work with Commerce Ventures, the corporate VC arm of uh, Commerce Bank, second, German, uh, second largest German bank. Um, so uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, I'm very proud to tell you in the next five minutes uh, a bit why Commerce Ventures more or less provide the best of both worlds of corporate venture capital and of, in a, let's say, classical venture capital. What's Commerce Ventures about? Um, we are still a very young fund. We were established just two years ago, but opposed to many of other corporate VCs, we are purely financially orientated. So let's say the same alignment of interest with most of the companies, especially with those we would like to invest in. Uh, we are very independent from the bank. The senior team, we invest our own money alongside of Commerce Ventures in each and every investment. Uh, clear GPL structure, so the same structure than what you would expect from any other VC. We invest purely, it belongs to our, let's say, DNA with Commerce Bank as the DLP, we invest purely in financial tech companies and insurance tech companies um, in the growth stage and the early stage, but at least we expect some kind of, let's say, indications of product market fit, i.e. the companies have been able to, to sell the product repeatedly, so that some revenues have been generated. Um, we invest mainly in Europe, because this is also the focus of Commerce Bank, but we invest also outside of Europe, in Israel and in the USA, but only in companies who more or less are a bit more mature, so rather in the growth stage, and now are looking for the next step, i.e. expanding to Europe, where then we can support. Uh, what are we looking for when it comes to, to companies or entrepreneurs? <coughs> So it's, uh, you have heard it uh, before in today's pitches. Of course, we are looking for passionate, enthusiastic entrepreneurs who would like to build a big company, have a great solution, which is optimally um, some kind of game-changing solution, uh, and have some kind of uh, un uh, unfair advantage here. Um, this, this is more or less what we are looking for. Um, our minimum investment ticket is around two million, and for the initial investment up to seven, eight million, it reflects more or less our early stage, growth stage, and passion. And uh, but we have enough, let's say, firepower for the follow-on round, so we can support you over the long run with investments. Uh, but more importantly to you, how can we help you? What is more or less so special about us? On the one hand, the team itself, we have a small team, but we have a great mix of experiences in national capital business, in financial services, in insurance technology, but also in entrepreneur. We have some entrepreneurs of the team. So we know, let's say, the entire value chain, but you also have the domain knowledge, which I think is very important, especially in the fintech insurance tech space, which is very regulated. This is number one. Number two, although we are financially orientated and independent from the bank, we have the access to the bank. That means we have access to, I don't know, 60,000 people, to a couple of direct banks or subsidiaries who more or less are really willing to work together with us, to share ideas with us in terms of getting more innovations inside of Commerce Bank. But this is not a requisite for our investments. So we can invest without any relationship between our portfolio companies and the bank. But it helps more or less for our due diligence but otherwise, even more for, for you, for the portfolio companies, to get access to really to the experts in the business to support you with knowledge, but also for, let's say, regulatory reasons. What are the licenses and what, yeah, what else? Mm -hmm. Finally, of course, it's all about the network. Um, because of, let's say, our individual backgrounds, we have, uh, we have a network in, in the banking space, in the venture capital space, to the respective guys here. Uh, to, to provide you some, let's say, example from the real life, what I've been talking about, uh, I would like to talk about two companies we have invested in. The one is a UK company called Avoca. It's a short-term um, loan provider to small businesses. Um, everything is digital, so classical model here. Most of the German banks uh, told us in our due diligence, we can do it in theory, but it's very slow and very expensive and totally offline. So and this is also this and was true for Commerce Bank. But now Commerce Bank is in deep discussions with, with Awoka, thinking about leveraging Awoka solution platform in Germany for Commerce Bank clients. Second company, uh, Marketa. Marketa is an US based company in the card processing space. Um, they plan to, at some point in the near future, to expand to Europe based on the business. And, uh, but Germany, uh, Europe is totally different for the regulatory reasons in the payment space than the US is. So we had a workshop with a lot of people at Commerce Bank from IT operations, business side, compliance, and so on and so forth, and also with the experts at the bank, 
and in our personal network for the respective payment providers in Euro to really help Marketa with the idea what they need to do if they plan to come to Euro. Thank you, that's it.